time to start the show Off the top rope, four figure leg lock Ric Flair with the chest chop Hater is wonder why I never tap out A young king like Demarcus Undertaker with a coffin Choke slam so often Stone Cold Steve Austin Man the boy keep flossing What's Man, good everybody? Welcome to Ooh, another David episode of say. Wrestling With Things And, and do not forget say. to subscribe to our YouTube and channel and At Wrestling say. With Things And, and like show. our Facebook page At Wrestling With Things David Joseph, joined by Sammy Joseph and Elena Cuevas, as usual, They're a little further away from me today because we are joined by the directors and founders of Newbie Productions. Newbie Rato and William Madero are joining us. A little wrestling with things, Newbie Productions collaboration. Yes. How are you two, man? Doing good. Um, I prefer a wood we new production, but we'll, that's okay. We'll let that go. We'll let that go. We'll, 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 we're gonna let it slide for today. It wasn't this We're gonna let it slide for today. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can't get everything right. Yeah, so yeah, that's my MVP. Right. That's, that's, yeah. that's all. Just call me MVP, and we'll be. Or I'll right. respond to His Excellency. Either, either way, we'll, we'll let it go. It's the first time we'll let it go today. We'll let it go. Ah, ah. But listen, thank you for letting us be on the on the podcast. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for taking the time to be here because. Everybody has different schedules, and we made it work, and we're all here in one piece. Thank God for that. Let's talk about your latest project coming out, Protect, Care, Serve. It is exploring the relationship between law enforcement and minorities. And we're living in a strange time, fellas, because with the social media era and with everybody having camera phones and a lot more of these offenses against minorities, by the law enforcement getting recorded, seems like everybody either hates cops or you hate black people, you feel me? It, it almost makes it seem like there's nothing in between. So tell me, what was the process like to get an objective lens of cops viewing minor minorities and vice versa? What was that process like, getting an objective point of view on that? Well, I think, um, as with most of our other projects, we don't like to take a side to begin with, you know, that's, that's the first thing, you know, we, we tackle issues that we feel like are a problem in the community around us and what we see and we just want to kind of want to get an introspective on what's going on. I think most of our documentaries are questioning to, we're trying to figure out ourselves why is this happening. So I think by attacking the documentary that way, you know, we try to get both sides. You know, we, we conducted a lot of interviews with police officers and a lot of people that have had experiences both good and bad because, you know, we don't want to just reflect negatively upon blacks or upon police officers. So I think it's just delving into that issue. Yeah, I think um, we'll pretty much hit it on, on the nail. I think ultimately, um, you know, when people ask, you know, how do we get our topics? It's just a reflection of what's going on in the community. Mm -hmm. You know, we did one on the fatherhood, guns, there's a whole bunch of mass shootings, still a whole bunch of mass shootings. Um, we, we have lost friends who, you know, go through sports and stuff like that. So we did a documentary about sports. This one was, um, this is a case, um, you know, it's, the way our political climate is, I think it's a reflection of how policing is right now and then with, with, with black men. There's no agreement. It's either you're for it or against it. You're Republican, Democrat, black or white. So we're just trying to find some middle ground here, like Will just said. Just trying try to find some middle ground where, you know what? Because I think ultimately, black people in police have more in common than they don't. Wow. Because let's just say there's 10 police officers. There's one bad apple, right? There's 10 black people, there's one bad apple. Okay, so they put a negative portrayal on everybody. The only difference is the police officer can take off the uniform, I guess, right? Black right. people can't. So we're just trying, we're, we're just honestly just, it was, it was, this is more of an investigative report, really, more than a documentary than, I, than, than the others, which was kind of different. It's our first documentary where we really went across the country. Yeah. Literally I mean, from Boston to Oakland. I understand, I understand what you're saying, but the 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 one bad apple. I don't think there's one bad apple in the in the police and like in the enforcement. It's it's it's, it's been like pro proven that there's multiple bad apples. I mean, you can say the same for blacks, but like, it's not. It's it's. I, I don't know. I don't know. This is that 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 analogy is just like. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's like that. Like I feel like I feel like, it's more than. It's more than I, I understand. Even the. Because it's it's a code it's a code between between the the, the police the police uh, enforcement they live they li live by blue they even started the blue lives matter thing like it's 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 hard it's gonna be hard but I I definitely agree with you guys I, I like where you guys are going with this. That's a good point and I and I really appreciate your opinion saying that because that that needs 
I need to hear that. We, we we need to hear that. I'm sorry, could you? And I I think um when he, and also what he means by that by more in common it's not even because I, I get what you're saying you're yeah. saying like like he said um at the end of the day they can take the blue they can take the, the, the take uniform, uniform off you you're black you're black all day yeah, so exactly. it's like obviously that's that's you know that's that's without being said and um I, and it's more so of like how there's a lot of negative stereotypes that are given to both based off of a small percentage of both because there's a lot of you know things going on in the black neighborhood that we're doing to ourselves, but that doesn't represent all cool, the good black people. Cool. And true. we and, and at the end of the day, there are, you know what I'm saying? I, w- I would like to believe that there are more good cops than, than bad out there doing 100%. the work. And I, I think that's just more so with, with that. So let me let me just ask, um, in you guys' opinion, what, what kind of middle ground can cops and black people come down to, if there is one in your opinion, what can we do to like improve the circumstances of everything that's going on, you know, in the in the society right now? Um, there's a segment of the documentary that talks about specific things that 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 was done, and if that didn't happen, they would have lost their lives, and mm-hmm. no one deserves to lose their life. Of nobody. course, nobody. nobody yeah. But certain things like listening. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's a big thing, is listening. A lot of these cases, people were resisting arrest. They did not deserve to die. Of course not. But Eric Garner, yes. that situation, mm-hmm. he was resisting arrest. Yeah, mm-hmm. which got, is against the law. Okay. Now, he got choked out, which police officer did, which was also against the law, okay? Was, and he ended yeah, up yeah. killing him. That's against the law, too. Okay, Oscar Grant, he was moving around. They're trying to arrest him, he was moving around. Okay, they're trying to arrest him on the ground. See the video, he's moving around. Now he took out a gun, he thought he allegedly was a taser, again, resisting. Yeah. So a lot of these cases, you know, I, I think first we gotta listen and, and find out what the protocol is because the officer, one person said in, in the documentary, I thought it was pretty uh, poignant, an officer said, I'm not paid to take a bullet, then react. It's true, yeah. And, and a lot of times you gotta see it from their perspective. From yeah. the police perspective, I think, and I think it's a society thing. Black cops too, not just white cops. Yeah. I think they inherently have an automatic stereotype on black people. Even me, true story, I'm in Chelsea, okay? There's a black person with dreads, baggy jeans, walking to my car, I lock my door. I would too. I lock my I'm, door, I'm, I'm like, yo, this I'm, I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, but his, he was actually walking to his car behind me. So imagine if I'm a cop with a gun. Mm-hmm. So I think those stereotypes, black, uh, particularly police officers, need to be like, oh, listen, everyone's not threatening. I'm a big black guy walking on campus right now in Bridgewater State. I might be a threat. Yeah. See, there's, there's a difference between that, though. A cop, their job is to serve and protect, not to serve and be scared of people with dreadlocks, bro. Like, that, 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 that's a different, that's, that's something that, it, you, you said it yourself, imagine a cop how they would feel if I'm, if I'm a black guy myself and I lock my doors with another oh, black yeah. guy. But I'm saying, their jobs, their jobs are serve and protect. They're not, they, and, and also, if you're gonna be scared, you, you shouldn't be. A, you shouldn't be a cop in the first place. No, nah, but because then, because then you're gonna you're gonna go off emotion and, but, and be scared. No, that's an emotion. You're gonna be nervous, and, and you're gonna and you're gonna react. And as a cop, you feel like you have the right to react to whatever. Clearly, you have the right to react to any situation you want. We see all these videos. We see all. No, these, it's it's true. Everything you're saying is true. But at the end of the day, these cops want to make it home to their family too. You know, so in that in that circumstance, where, where he just said uh, a black guy with dreads walking by, of course, you know, my first thing is I'm gonna you know do whatever it takes to make sure nothing happens to me in that situation. And in a way, cop, that's what the cops is kind of doing, but they're just doing it wrong. Yeah, you see what I mean? Totally. But we're all about that's my point. They're doing it wrong. They're doing it wrong. What we're also saying is too, that is wrong. You're a hundred percent right. That's my point. And that's what we're saying. Like, we're trying to investigate, like, that's one of the things the documentary, like, why are people afraid? Like, that's what we're trying mm-hmm. to say. Like, we need to dispel that. Like, you shouldn't you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be a afraid. person with dress exactly. like click, click, like that's exactly. not that you shouldn't be a person with hundred percent right. As a black person or a police officer, if any police officer, you should already feel already feel like you are the law so you can mm. walk up to a person and speak to them you don't have to automatically pull be scared weapon. pull out yeah. a weapon and say yeah. hey, what are you doing yeah. or anything like that but on the police side to answer your question what the what can the police do i think community policing 
is huge. And not passing out water bottles and frisbees. Of course, yeah, yeah. And back that that. That's our community policing. Yeah. Okay, I'm talking about really going into the hood, yeah, introducing yourself, because the person with the dreads, oh, you know what, that's so and so's cousin. And you won't We're be good. scared. Of course, yeah. that's what the police need to do. And, and and not, you know, not d- listen. The basketball tournaments. The main point I was. That's about beautiful. That. That's yeah. cool. The basketball tournaments and the build the relationship and the cookouts. That's, that's, that's cool. That's but the you main gotta thing build. That's literally the main agreed, thing. I, I agree. agree. Build a relationship with the. Com- if you're a police, you want to build a relationship with the community that you're policing. That's it. Yeah. So guys, when's the, when does the documentary come out? Comes out November 14th. Um, tickets are $20. We're selling uh, really good. We're really blessed. We got a really good fan base, but we always want different people to come. It's at Dedham Showcase Cinema, November 14th. Um, we're gonna have a red carpet, doors open at 6.30, show starts at seven. Um, it's gonna be a beautiful event. Um, we packed out and reached capacity every one of our premieres. We started actually right here at our school, Bridgewater State, right yeah. here. Um, our first documentary was downstairs library lecture hall on healthcare. A lot of history is made in this school. <laughs> uh, so, and our and our videos have gotten bigger and bigger. But what I say, I'm not sure if you guys are a communication major, but I'm a teacher, so I'm gonna get my put my teacher hat on. Consistency is everything. Mm-hmm. You know, we're blessed where we have a. I think we're gonna reach capacity though. Yeah. I, I think we're gonna reach capacity, but we're doing that because we are consistent and we promote like no one knows us and everyone hates us. Mm-hmm. We're on right. podcasts like this, right, right, right. okay? I mean, you got to be consistent, consistent, consistent. Because I've always said we're not that good. We're pretty good. We're not that good. There's people a lot better than us. Trust me. Believe me on that, okay? Mm-hmm. But they're not as consistent. Stop it. They're not as consistent. Consistency is key, man. <laughs> but I feel you with that. Right, don't consistent. <laughs> Yo, don't go anywhere. We're going to wrap up this segment, but Newbie Productions, Newbie and William Madeira aren't Red going Red Red anywhere. Man. We're talking the NBA. The NBA season's Red coming man, back. Red We're man. talking the Jimmy Butler trade talks. Don't forget to Little subscribe Red to Red us Red at Wrestling Today. Stay tuned.